Hello there. Y'all all right? Honey, very good. Here we are back again. As promised, still celebrating National Vegan Day. Honey, it's Vegan Week, okay? With McCormick, my good family. Honey, bringing y'all another recipe for this good old fall weather. How y'all feel about a good old creamy chickpea soup with a little rice in there? <laughs> Ooh, Taya, that sound good. Yeah, let's go on and get into it, shall we? Very good. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do, we got some raw cashews here, right? We're going to soak them, you see that? In hot water for about 15 minutes, okay? Let that sit right there to the side. While that's soaking, we got some uh, yellow onion here, some carrots, and some celery. You can either chop it by hand real fine or put it in your food processor. I started chopping and then myself said to me, sell, tab, girl, put that in that little food processor and stop playing with me. So let's do that. Uh-huh. All right, now we don't want to puree it. We just want to kind of chop it a little bit, okay? So we're going to put it on low, about one right there, and let's chop that up. Then go ahead and sit that into a bowl and sit it to the side. So after 15 minutes, you go ahead and drain your cashews, okay? And then go ahead and add them into your food processor. All right, then we're going to add about two cups of the vegetable stock. Now, this time we are going to blend until it gets really smooth, okay? So go ahead and we can still start a little low and then increase it if you need to. All right, see how creamy that is? Then just go ahead and let that sit to the side until we're ready for it. All right, now in your pot, add your celery, your carrots, and onions to a little bit of oil. And we're going to saute for about three minutes, okay? All right, now I'm going to use some salt-free garlic and herb. Now, you can put, as they say, about two tablespoons or so. But you know tab don't really measure, and I'm going to just do as much as I want to because that's my business. And until the spirit tells me to stop. All right, like so, like that. And it's salt-free, okay? Then we're going to add a little bit of pepper. Hold on. Black pepper, that's ground pepper. Okay, go ahead and put some of that in there, like so, like that. All right. And then continue to stir it up about 30 seconds or so. See how it's all getting kind of soft. You can tell the texture is changing a bit. That's what you want. You want that texture to switch up a little bit and get soft. All right. All right, then we're gonna add some more vegetable stock in here. Once you do that, go ahead and turn your heat up on high, and we're going to bring this to a boil. All right, so now once it's boiling, let's add some brown rice. This is about a cup, and you rinse the rice first. And go ahead and add it in there. And then a can of rinsed and drained chickpeas. All right, once you have that in there, turn the heat on medium. Let's cover it for about 30 minutes. Now, while it's cooking, you know, every like five to 10 minutes or so, check on it and stir it up a little bit, okay? All right, very good. All right, it's been about 15 minutes, okay? So we're gonna check it and we're gonna stir a little bit. Make sure we all good here. And then we're gonna cover it back up for about another 15 minutes or so. All right, now we're gonna add some kale in, like so, like that. Okay, chopped up. If you have a couple stems in there, honey, that's all right. That's your business. Or you can pull them out, okay? And then don't forget about your cashew sauce that we had sitting to the side. Go ahead and grab that. Okay, we'll go ahead and pour that in. Okay, because that's our creamy sauce. Like so, like that. Mm -hmm. Right? And now we're going to stir this all in. And we're going to continue to cook this down together. Stir it all up. To make it creamy. Mm -hmm. So once you stir it all in good, it'll get right creamy like so, like that. See that? Mm, my goodness, the day tab. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and now what you're going to do is just let this still cook on medium for about five minutes, okay? We're just doing that so we can cook the kale down a little bit, all right? 
All right, get into it, honey. About five minutes later, look at it. Ooh, baby, y'all better go on and get y'all a bowl. Go on and get you a bowl there. <laughs> go ahead and pour that on into your bowl, like so, like that. All right, get into it now. If you want to get fancy, put your little parsley on top, like so, like that. Come on, Dab. Come on, girl. Yeah, uh, honey, go and get you a spoon and slide it in there, like so, like that. Okay, okay. Did you get into it, honey? Ooh, very good. Now, my favorite part, ooh, God, we thank you. Amen. Then go ahead and, and get into the little taste test and things. If you want to, you can sprinkle a little salt and pepper on there to taste if you want to. Okay, that's your business. Don't you burn your tongue off, okay? Hold on. Hold on, Dad. You see this thing coming off of there? Ooh, ooh. Ready? <laughs> Look, shall we? Baby, honey, very good. Mm. All right, that's that. Honey, I hope y'all make it. I hope you love it, honey. It's very good and creamy. Honey, look, get into it one more time, okay? I'm finna finish this. I hope y'all love it. I hope y'all enjoy it when y'all make it. And listen, for the full recipe, go to McCormick.com, all right? And look, if y'all make it, tag me in it. Show it off, okay? Very good. Now, until next time, go on about y'all business. And they had a most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go mess up nobody else's him. Very good. Mm. Yep. Mm-hmm.